నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు క్రేజీ సంతాన లేమితో ఆందోళన చెందుతున్న వారి కోసం డాక్టర్ పేషెంట్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్లు కన్సల్టేషన్ క్యాంపులు మరియు డిజిటల్ ప్రసారాల ద్వారా సంతాన లేమికి సంబంధించిన సరైన పరిజ్ఞానం కోసం ఓయాసిస్ ఫర్టిలిటీ చీఫ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ ఆఫీసర్ శ్రీ సుధాకర్ యాదవ్ ఓయాసిస్ ఫర్టిలిటీలో క్లినికల్ హెడ్ డాక్టర్ ఫర్నాస్ ఫరన్ మాట్లాడారు for those it might be an extra 2 to 3000 to maximum 5000 so on an average if you say that an iui procedure should cost between 5 to 10000 that's an average so but there are patients who need minimum or no medicines for them five there are also patients who need a lot of injections and then they get one follicle growing so for them it might go up to even 15000 if you want to ask us about an average 5 to 10000 should be a fair estimate yes we have been actually even we have had a lot of meetings about this we have been a bit conscious about the fact that you know when we interact with patients this is what they ask us that you know is this this hidden con- hidden cost thing is a bit factor which is there and i'm very glad you all picked that up because uh, yes patients have this uh, complaint that you know we thought it's going to come to this much and now it's slowly 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 it's increasing so what we need to understand is that every patient is different their treatment is different their prognosis is different okay some patients are good prognosis some are poor prognosis that doesn't mean we stop trying that doesn't mean that we stop trying to help them everyone has a right to try and have a baby and we have different treatment options which are available to help them get to that objective so now about the hidden cost point which is there how much will it cost and all so if you, if you know as such if you look at the success rate of ivf treatment you have people who say it's 100% successful and all that those are just marketing gimmicks on an average you say it's about 50% we are noticing success rates up to 75% but what we would like to tell our patients is get be realistic it's about 50% if you have good prognosis it's about you can touch to the 75% bracket and the poor prognosis about 30% okay so if patients can see right away it's simple treatment which is required so the basic package as mr sudhakar was saying is about 150000 if you have a patient who needs minimum injections for them the cost might be even less than that so you, we might be able to do something like a natural cycle stimulation where it doesn't cross even 1 lakh for that matter on the other hand we have patients who are elderly who want their own child who want to use their own eggs their own sperms so if they fall in that age permitted limit of the national guidelines these patients require slightly higher dose of injections so even if we try to give them 1 lakh 50000 the injections will slowly cross to about 2 lakhs or 2.5 what is the best age to go for ivf it's there's no best age for ivf it's about the patient's need the best age to get pregnant is before 30 now you have the option if you're you know we are all career driven ladies now most of us want to pursue our career we want to have the luxury of having a child later so for those patients we have the option of fertility preservation mariny updates kosam chustunna unnani crazy